Fear's a choice, Patrick Clevig. <laughs> I was wondering. I was. I was. I thought about it. I thought about it. But I'm glad. I'm glad you took the bullet. Could not resist. Oh. Just, just enough of a moment of silence there. <laughs> What's uh, Patrick Klebik? What are we looking at here? This is gunpoint. Oh, you just got shot. I did. What's happening? How did I die? You got. You got shot. Uh, load your load your game. I guess. Uh, load. So this game. This. Gunpoint. Um, Gunpoint is the name of this game. In this game, you can do hard saves like you can do in any game, but also it's auto-saving, but creates, it generates several auto-saves and allows you to choose from them. So I can choose to... But these auto-saves are like within two seconds, seven seconds. Yeah, which is about all you usually need okay. um, to like, you know, correct a very minor mechanical mistake. Let's, let's find out what the... How did I die? I just jumped. All right, so the main uh, way you get around in this game is you hold on the left mouse button, this creates... So you're this tiny on. dude here in the lower yeah. left corner. Let's, maybe I can smash this window. You can smash the window, but there's a dude right there, yeah, there who then shoots you. Um, so I think that's the guy who shot you before when you jumped up onto that Yeah, thing. he might have noticed that. Oh, that's right. Okay, so uh, as I move the cursor around the screen, when it becomes red, that means you are line of sight uh, with a guard. So what happened was I jumped up there. Yep, and he can see you up there. He, and then he can see me. Um, so it looks like you want to get on that second level landing there. So we're going to head up here. Uh, so you can climb. Yep. Kind of just get around. Woo. Woo. What are you What are you using for mechan for controls here? This is just wazd. Okay. Um. Oh. So uh, I'm trying to uh, hack these little computers over here. Uh, okay, different so missions this... have different objectives, but the one I have here is to to do that. Um, hack these three computers. I have a couple things at my disposal uh, in order to do that. Um, let's see. So notice uh, this becomes red as I follow the guy's line of sight. He obviously can't see through the door. So I can I can try and just handle this guy up front. Because he's um, looking out. Yeah, so I can do it in a real ham-fisted sort of way, which is this. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, though. Um, Are you nuts? Which then brings that guy over. That guy's on alert, but he's really just not, he's just not really sure. He's, he's covering the beat, man. He knows. So then he'll go in there. I'll head up. So now I have, two, I have two choices here. Uh, the game uh, grades you based on your level of violence. Um, I could just punch him once, right? I'm done. He's knocked out. But you know what's, you know what's way better? It's punching him repeatedly. <laughs> You're right, Patrick. That is better. And at no point do you have to stop. <laughs> uh, I feel like there's... So, then I, so the, the pool of blood only occurs when you punch... Two or a thousand times. There's um, there's clearly some shared Hotline Miami DNA going on here. A little bit there, yeah, yeah. Uh, but but in this game, you don't have to engage with the violence if 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 you don't want to. Um, but sorry. I want to. So what you can also do, uh, you can be a little more creative uh, about how you take out uh, the enemies, and and sometimes this is required. Um, so if I flick the, the the mouse wheel, I switch between uh, my normal mode and what's called crosslink, which is one of the early upgrades you get. Um, it allows me to m change the what the different objects in the environment that are highlighted in red, uh, how they function. So, for example, uh, you'll see the text is pretty small here, but uh, the hand scanner will activate a door. If I drag that up to the light, um, the hand scanner will activate a light. So, uh, so, so the way that like that light switch there will activate that light. Right. And so it, it, once you've made a connection between things, uh, it explains the connection you've made. So. This light switch will activate a light. Um, if I take this over here, this light switch will activate a door. So if I go over there now, open the close of that. Right. Um, so with this guy, uh, one of the early ways they, they have you dealing with uh, guards is they'll follow like lights being turned off and go hit the switch. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do something a little more fun. Um, so I've got over here. I've got this power socket. Mm -hmm. I drag this power socket over to that light switch. The switch will now activate the power socket. Uh, and now, because this guy has been activated, he's walking everywhere, and I can just go. <laughs> that guy's taken care of. These sound effects are fantastic. Yeah, it's. This game's got a really great look. The atmosphere is 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 really enjoyable as well. Um, I've hacked that. Um, 
I was just sitting here even before we started enjoying the the music and this uh, out of this this out of this world rain that's coming down around the building. Let's see. So for this guy, so I can drag this switch to this light, um, which means when I hit this, that guy's gonna go try and handle that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Let's see. We'll so wait, I'll wait for him to bounce. I imagine that little green zone over there in the corner. Oh, actually, I can hang out in the elevators. So he will not he will not notice me as he walks by, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. But with like with those crazy uh, auto saves and stuff, like there's kind of yeah. no reason not to try stuff, right? Oh, right, exactly. Like right there, he saw you, but no biggie because... So then I could do my, my normal strategy of now of just waiting till he goes past. I'll just punch him once. You got away. You got away with murder, my friend, because I didn't murder you. Uh, and now I have uh, accomplished all the objectives. Uh, you can start. Well, that didn't work. Light switch. I have to hit, uh, it's because the light switch is not connected to the security thing. And scan error will activate a light switch. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted. Either way, doesn't matter. Oh, we're going to exit out the cool way. Which I do every single time, even though, like, the way it judges you <laughs> increases the way you you uh, have alarms. But that's such a way cooler way to exit the level. <laughs> In a game, like, very early on, it's like, you can't die. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, as, as far as just, like, falling from a distance or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. So the game, like, really encourages creativity. Um... I'm part of the player because you can autosave and there, there, aren't, there aren't a whole lot of real real consequences for that. Um, so this is back at the sort of like your iPad or whatever spy device. Um, spy, you, spy pad. There you go. Um, if you, every time you finish a mission, you get to upgrade your abilities. Um, it's a, only a three hour game, uh, so it's, it's pretty short, but it comes with a full level editor. Um, and there's a story, but the story doesn't seem it's it's very it's 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 well written. It's funny, but that's not the 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 point here. So like even though the game itself doesn't have too much to it, uh, I think the community is probably going to go pretty wild pretty quickly. Um, but you can upgrade uh, your speed and distance traveled. You can get to full strength, which is when you're holding down the left mouse button and like that arc begins. Yeah. You can get that arc to to play out a little bit faster. Um, you also have a series of upgrades. Uh, drop shot. Uh, I could buy that. Land silently from any heights. Some incoming shots miss. Death fluke. That's a pretty cool upgrade. And I also like that it's some incoming shots miss. Not all of them. Um, so I'll buy that. Oh, I can return it. So maybe you can't own all of these things. Interesting. Or maybe that's just before you cashed in. Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I go back. Nope, you can always return it. That's cool. All right, let's see. So I've got a couple different missions I can accept. We'll take... Uh, needs a pro for some deniable ops work. Disgusting pay. I'm in. It's $100. Yeah, well... That is disgusting. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Gessler, CEO, Intex. I need someone serious. Are you? I am serious and don't call me Shirley. That's a good reference. Rick makes guns. This guy is not having your sassiness. No, no, he's not. Here, Rick makes guns. Rick's working on some bullshit secret projects. He thinks he's going to get her around the gun ban, and she doesn't think I know about it. You're gonna steal it. Where is it? I won't be sassy. Is that a uh, is uh, Rook a character that you've dealt with in other missions, or? Yeah, it's it's been a couple days since I've played the earlier missions, so I'm not 100 up on on how we've gotten here. Any special requests? Yeah, special requests. Start the mission. I'm gonna do that. Uh, the text is pretty funny, but also super optional. Uh, so this stage introduces armored dudes. So I have not, I have not finished this one. So this is new to me. Um, so I can, oh, okay. Oh, I did play a little bit of this stage. Let's see. I really like the, just the way they animate and drop and just sort of flop to their deaths. 
is pretty fun. And there's a good kind of sharp sound to the uh, to the violence, just the yeah. staccato little little. Oh. Oh. Can't attach that, so that security. Don't have to worry. That's not alerting anyone, I guess. All right, so we got this guy up here. Got a power socket. But he's also not moving anywhere. No, so I have to try and alert him. No, oh, I actually can't. So the only things I can attach this to are the, the things that are highlighted in red. Uh, oh, and that's because... So there's this, there's a second set of circuits that you can unlock uh, if, you, if you find the, the circuit box. So I'm trying to get up there so that I can activate that circuit box so that I can get down here and hack into that computer. So... Even if I attach that, that doesn't quite get me there yet because... And that's, and that's a dude that you can't just walk up to and knock out. I don't think so. I think he would fuck me up. Come on, buddy. Get over there. All right, let's see. Let's find out what happens if I go up. Oh, so now he's looked. Hmm. Aww. Just the way you just matter-of-factly die is oh, yeah, no, it's funny, too. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, now that the elevator has gotten his attention... He's turned away. Oh, jeez. Nope. Thought maybe if I had the momentum from the ceiling... Yep, that guy is just invincible. So you want to what, if I, what if I, like, shove him out the window? <laughs> that works. Nailed it. I can also collect laptops um, that are scattered throughout the environment, but I, I think they are purely, do you want some more of the background of the story? Do you want to see some funny quips? I, I don't think they uh, impact the amount of money you get coming out of a mission. All right. Hack the thing. So now I have a, uh, I've got that. Now I have these new things that I can... Okay, so this is a, a second circuit that we could, could kind of see before, but you could not Yeah, you can see with. the objects, but you couldn't actually touch them. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, now... Um, so I've got this switch I can activate. I'll attach those things. And downstairs. Oh, wait. It opened back up. Let's see. Can I... So I can't attach it to the red one, so I can only attach to... Let's see... You attach about to the that. lift? When the lift arrives, this button will activate a trapdoor. I just activate it? Oh, so I actually have to... Bring it back up. Call it down. Oh, theoretically? Yep. Presto. Mm. Uh, attach that to the door. I wonder if I can. Yeah, I'll do both. So you, you can you can actually have you know multiple things linked together. Um, right. And you can always kind of you know make sure that your your logic is working out um, because it does very usefully you know tell you exactly what you're commanding. So back up to the third floor. Um, now so we can jump out the window. I could could go up that way. Uh, you can also you can also do something pretty cool, which is uh, if you attach a security camera to the door, um, the door will open when a security camera is activated. So that's just <laughs> dumb. Just making it go completely against the logic <laughs> of how those things are supposed to work, uh, but in, in a really fun way. Uh, so you know you see you've got these these different ratings. Um, they, I don't think they influence, like, maybe this, your pay isn't affected by your rating. So, yeah, so, like, you can get these different medals. And that call. Uh, if you go back to your missions, you know, they have these different badges that you can get for um, playing through. Um, so, those ratings, I think, influence those badges. I'm not sure. Maybe that ties into the achievements. I haven't looked at the, the whole achievements list. Um, but you can go back and play any of them to get, to get better ratings or to get badges. You can't grind for money. Uh, the money that you get is just the, the money that you get. Um, 
I might think I'm probably gonna invest in Death Fluke. Uh, I also like the idea that if maybe if you just saved up long enough, you get you get the ability to kick down doors. But eight thousand dollars that's that's a lot of money. Uh, For a freelance spy like you, it yeah. certainly is. Uh, Bullfrog Jump Strength, Bullfrog Charge Up Time. I'll go, I'll go to that. Um, well, let's see what the beginning of the next mission is. But, but like I said, this game is pretty short, so I don't want to I don't want to show too much. Let's start the mission. This one, it's not raining. Oh. One punch. What we got here? Ah. Boop. Oh, that was already open. <laughs> I like to close doors for myself. Create a little more challenge. It's yeah, too exactly. easy otherwise. Oh, there's a, there's a whole third layer. We've got these green Interesting. circuits. Interesting. We got that guy looking over here. If I okay, that's green. Alright, so this needs to get active. Ooh, wait. This nope. is pulled to this. To, the, to that. So then you can open that door. So I need to get him looking the other way. Uh, so then he'll go over to the switch. Got my laptop. Okay, he's now freaking out. Now he should come through all the way through. You can do it, buddy. Just walk right into my trap. Ha! Then you've got this nice little saxophone flare. Yeah, there was. I, I don't know if that was. I want to say that that was intentional. No, nope, that's yellow. Yeah, these have got stars. This door will open when this... I'm not sure what the stars mean. So, do I have to go outside? Right, red. Attach that. Open. Boom. Successfully, uh... So it seems like that's probably the arc of where, like, the puzzles start to go, is layering on these different uh, circuit boxes that you have to... Right, hijack in and order to make you know, kind of making you solve one layer of uh, of these puzzles before you can get access to the next layer. I really cool. Like I, so that's a uh, that's good point. It's uh it's out. Uh, I think that when this goes up, it'll be out today, uh, and uh, it's it's eight ninety nine as part of its launch special uh, on Steam, uh, but it's also. Nine ninety nine after that, uh, and it's just, yeah, it just seems really neat. Uh, it's made by uh, a PC gamer writer. I believe he still writes for PC Gamer. Um, if not, he did. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you I, can. Uh, I like a lot about this game for sure. People should people should check it out. So uh, that's gunpoint. Thanks, Excellent. Ryan. Thank you, Patrick.